Jay, what about those days that you don't feel like working out? Is it better to just not do it, not do the workout at all, give yourself a rest day, versus actually starting to work out and then you're, you're still unmotivated and then you just stop? Which one is better? Now today I can do 50 straight up. Now if I start to do 50, but I stop at 25, I'm doing something I did back in the day. Is that really working? Is that really challenging your body? Is that really making a difference? So, before we even get into this video, man, make sure that you go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop new videos like this one, man. Because I'm pretty sure you got a similar question or the same question or you're just wondering what you should do in this scenario. Because we all got those days, man. Alright? Now, listen up. You're going to be surprised about this answer. I'm going to just blatantly tell y'all straight up. Don't even do the workout, yo. Don't do the workout. If you don't feel like doing it and it's actually like a rest day that you can actually take. I'm not saying like, you already took your rest day, you still not motivated, and then you don't do the workout. No, uh-uh, we're not, we're not doing that, man. I'm not sugarcoating nothing over here. I'm not giving you no BS. I'm telling y'all straight up, if you don't feel like doing the workout and you haven't had your rest day, take the rest day. Why do you say that? Because my personal belief. I don't care who says I'm wrong or has an opposite opinion about it, Actually, if you, if, you, if you have an opposite opinion about it, leave it down in the comment section below. I believe that you shouldn't even do it at all. Why? Because it kind of puts your head in the mindset as to where you start something and you don't finish. You start something and you don't finish. How does that sound to you right now? Like, like seriously, like, ask yourself, how does it sound to start something and not finish it? Because if you don't do it at all, you're not ended up anywhere. The destination is just, you're never gonna get there because you never even started. But if you, but if you start something and, 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 and you don't finish it, you're not getting there either. Now you can say, granted, well, I made it 50% and all this stuff, but guess what, bro? You started something and you really didn't finish. Like, you really didn't finish. Like, so, so the point that you wanted to get at you never got it, but you started, so you, you, you got a little bit of progress. But you didn't finish at all. So what is the whole point? Because in my head, if I start something, I'm gonna finish it. If I start something, let me say that again. If I start something, I'm gonna finish it. I want you to say it with me too. If I start something, I'm going to finish it. There is no point of starting a workout if you're not going to finish it. You are doing something that you did back in the day. I'm not saying like back in the day you started it and didn't finish it. Let's say right now I can do 50 push-ups straight up, non-stop. But back then I could only do 25. Now today I can do 50 straight up. Now if I start to do 50, but I stop at 25, I'm doing something I did back in the day. Is that really working? Is that really challenging your body? Is that really making a difference physically? Is it gonna, is it gonna help me out physically by doing what I did back in the day? Why do you think I can do more right now? Because I push myself to do more. Because if you start something and you don't finish it, you're not doing more, you're doing less. Which tells me you're not getting to the destination that you wanna go to. And to be 100 with y'all, I've had those days where I started and not finished it. So I'm telling y'all, it's a lot more easier to just not even start it. It's not having a quitter mentality. It's not, oh man, you, you giving up. It's not that. If you're using it in the right way. Like, for real. Work out five to six days a week. But if you plan to work out tomorrow, if you have already done your five days, and it's your sixth day and you like, I don't feel like, don't, don't do it because you are training your mind to start something and not finish it. That is so toxic, man. And you don't know where that can go anywhere else in life. We talking about fitness right now. 
starting something and not finishing it, starting something and not finishing it ends you up in the same place as to where you wouldn't even start it. So why would you even waste your own time? Now I'm not saying if you're not motivated, one of these is one of these days that you're not motivated and you just don't want to work out like nah, go ahead and do it. Push through it. Because once you train your mind to start, I mean to finish something that you started, you're not going to give up. You're not going to stop. You're not going to stop. You're actually going to do the workout. You're actually going to feel good at the end of the workout. You're actually going to know mentally that you pushed through and did everything you're supposed to do. And that teaches discipline. That teaches hard work. That teaches dedication, most of all. That teaches dedication. Not to other people. Well, it, it can it can be to other people. All right? Dedication. It speaks out dedication to other people. But most of all, it speaks out dedication to you. Because if you don't believe you're dedicated to something, first of all, you ain't finna do it all the time. You're only gonna do it when you feel like doing it. But once you, once you imply and once you like install that mindset of, I'ma finish it if I start it. Like if I don't even think I'ma finish it, I ain't, I ain't finna start it. Don't even start it, man. Like why did you start your fitness journey? So you can get to that destination, right? Maybe you don't even know what your destination is. Maybe you like me. Like, I'm just working out. I'm pushing more weight. I don't know where I want to stop right now. I don't have a destination right now, physically. But I know I'm not going to stop. I know I'm not going to stop pushing myself. So you have to go ahead and make that decision. <laughs> if it's one of those days as to where I don't feel like working out at all, so I even started and I feel like I'm going to stop, don't do it. Don't do it. You're teaching yourself to not finish something that you already started versus starting something and you already pushing through and you're gonna finish it because you're teaching your mind to finish something that you started, all right? That's all I wanted to say in this video, man. Kind of like a life lesson, I guess, but just had to spit that out right quick. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you get this valuable information when I put it out, all right?